Welcome to Melbourne Private Apartments, where luxury is the standard in this beautiful waterfront location. My name is Lana Murphy, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, Emma Raducanu. She is Britain's number one tennis player, a US Open champion, and a very proud guest of Melbourne Private Apartments. Welcome, Emma. Thank you. Are you enjoying your stay here? Yeah, very much so. Um, I've been here a week now, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the tournament to get going. Amazing. Um, we're in a pretty lovely location looking out at a nice view across the water here. I can imagine your view from your room's even better. How is it, you know, just talk me through the facilities and how you enjoy staying at Melbourne Private Apartments. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, we've been really using all of the facilities, like we've been in the gym every day. A few at the beginning more so um, we've been in the pool every day doing a lot of recovery um, coming back from an ankle injury last week so it's been very very helpful to have that on on site and just to be able to pop down and use it um, yeah it's been great for everything and I guess how would you compare it to staying at your standard hotel it's obviously pretty handy given you've got you know a few team members here and there's a bit of a crew going on yeah it's actually it's been really I really enjoy it because I quite like doing some things myself, like some cooking, some meals, like breakfast. I'm a big breakfast person, so I like to do it my own way and uh, have my own routines and the flexibility and luxury to do that. Um, so that's why I think I prefer it to a hotel at times. What does Britain's number one tennis player eat for breakfast? Um, I'm very, <laughs> I eat the same thing every single day. Uh, I think I have salmon three times a day and um, I, I, basically like to make my own coffee and stuff in the morning um, and yeah, froth my milk, just how I like it. Okay, so I'll add more salmon to my diet. Maybe yeah. I'll be as good as you. <laughs> Maybe go for a run or something. <laughs> um, location wise, how are you finding the proximity to the tennis center you're getting to and from pretty easily? Yeah, it's great. I, it's so easy to get to the site and, um, and the tram is like right outside so you can get into the city like really, really quick and easy. So I think location wise, it's perfect. Um, my team found a really good pizza spot that they've been going to uh, and uh, great coffee around like within minutes walking. So we've been doing that every day too. I was gonna say, given you say you make your own, have you also found a kind of go-to coffee shop? And have you found the, have you had the Melbourne order yet? Have you heard of a magic before? No, what is it? It's, do you know what? I don't really know. It's like two, <laughs> two shots, but only half of each shot. So the equivalent okay. to one shot. So it's just one shot. And then like a little <laughs> dash of milk, but it's not a long mat in it. Okay. Next time you go Maybe to a I'll coffee shop, be like, I'm in Melbourne. I'll ask for a magic. Yeah, can I have some magic? Please? Yeah. Do you know the name of the pizza shop? Should we give them a shout out? The local place? Not uh, Domino's? I haven't ordered from it personally yet. I'm saving that for maybe after the tournament. I think that's a very good plan. Um, you have been in Melbourne a couple of times now. What is it that you love about our city? Um, I love, I think the personalities in Melbourne. I think it's similar to back home in the UK in London. Um, it's a great, it's a great vibe in the city. I think right now in the summer, the weather's great too. So it's just a lot of energy and uh, I think the coffee's really good. I love that. And obviously the sun, like I just, it's winter right now back in Europe. So uh, to get some sun is really nice too. Yeah, lap it up, I think. You've um, been having a hit on the tennis courts today over at Melbourne Park. It's been pretty warm. How excited are you for, I guess, your match on Monday, but also just, yeah, the Oz Open and to be here and to be part of it? Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to playing on Monday. It's It's been, um, yeah, a process to get onto the court, but I'm really looking forward to, to getting there. And I think that I'm really ready. I feel really good about my game and how things are going. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to it now. How does the AO compare to, I guess, the other Grand Slams throughout the year? And does it kind of help you set yourself up for the year? Yeah, I think it comes so soon in the year that it's, it's great to kind of see where you're at. But um, I think that the AO is so good for the players and the hospitality. Like they treat the players really well. Everything is taken care of so nicely. So it's a tournament that all the players and everyone loves to be at. You've played some pretty spectacular tennis in the last two years. What, are, what do you think the last, I guess, 12 months has taught you about yourself? What have you taken out of the last year or so? I think I've probably taken resilience out of the last year. That's something I've been quite resilient, um, just having a few adversities and just overcoming them and not getting too disheartened. And that's a lesson just to pick myself up quickly and just carry on and move on. And I think I'm doing a much better job of that. 
You're smashing it. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the, I guess the whole women's tournament looks really different now. There's a lot of big names that are kind of stepping down. It feels like a little bit of a changing of the guards. How does the tournament feel for you? How does it feel when you're going around playing? I think it's exciting. Um, a lot of the players can win any tournament each week, I think, on the WTA Tour right now, which is cool. Like, it gives everyone this sense of like, oh, I can do it. And uh, I think that's really good for the game. It's exciting for the spectators too, not to just know who's going to win the tournament before it's even started. So, um, yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. And uh, it's, but it's obviously sad to see some, some amazing legends step down and all, after all they've done for the sport. We've loved watching your journey and I'm sure there's many more chapters to come. So thanks for joining thanks. us.